What's going on guys? Welcome to VOS Red Carpet. My name is Jackson Vungani. Like always on this show, we bring you the latest in entertainment news, in fashion, in sports, in film and television from around the world. Let's begin. And let's start the show with news of a legend being named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2019. Yes, that is singer and activist John Legend. That title belonged to British actor Idris Elba who won it last year. And this makes John Legend the first black man and youngest ever to complete the EGOT sweep. EGOT is a, an acronym for Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, in reference to persons who have won all four awards. His wife, Chrissy Teigen, who is very active on social media, tweeted about it. Hashtag EGOT PSMA, adding the People's Sexiest Man Alive abbreviation. But there is one person who did not agree with the magazine's choice, and that is legendary rapper Snoop Doggy Dogg, who posted an edited People magazine cover featuring none other than himself. We see you, Snoop. Woof, woof, man. Jay-Z's latest project partnering with the NFL has probably been keeping him busy, but he has not forgotten about his scholarship fund. Hosting the inaugural Sean Carter Foundation Gala, he received support from a number of stars in attendance, including wife Beyonce, Alicia Keys, DJ Khaled, Mick Mill, and Tyler Perry. A high-stakes poker tournament and a black tie gala were some of the events held during the weekend at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Florida, where the money raised benefited the Sean Carter Foundation Scholarship Fund, college prep and community programs for youth and families who need it. You know, celebrities having fun while raising money for education, that's an event we would all love to attend. Alicia Keys is returning as the host of the 2020 Grammys in January. We still can't get over her opening act last year with four powerful women, Michelle Obama, Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, and Jonathan Pinkett Smith. We can't wait to see what she's got planned next. For now, the award-winning singer had some fun with the news, posting videos on Instagram of herself as the current Alicia Keys, who talks posting with Alicia Keys from February 2019, during which the older Keys says, Hey, the people want to know, how you gonna top this, Alicia? Come on! And speaking of powerful women in music, we turn to one from Ivory Coast, that is Monique Seca. Nicknamed the queen of Afro-Zook music, the singer joined VOA's Roger Muntu on the RM show here in Washington to discuss what she has been up to and gave us a test of some of her legendary hits. Let's check it out. The queen of Afrozook's music stood out at a time when the genre was dominated by France produced record and led by the powerful Kassav group. Although she gained success across the continent, she explained why her career has recently slowed down. J'ai fait plein d'albums. Ouais, hein. ouais. Mm -hmm. Mais je suis là, je suis là tranquillement. Bon, vous savez, uh, I have avec made la... many albums, you know, with piracy and everything. Lots of artists stayed in their little nest to work on other things. I turned to the farming. I work with a little bit of everything that can grow. I grow tomatoes, I grow ginger, a little bit of everything. We cannot stay just like that, because music is great and all, but at a certain time, there is more than just music. You have to do other things too. There are no bad jobs. Despite her new profession in the farming sector, she hasn't given up on music. No, I did not give up music. I was born in music. My dad, Okwaseka, the two sisters of Ivory Coast music, sisters Komwe, were my grandparents. So I cannot just give up music. I took a little break to do other things, but even when I am in my plantation, I compose music, 
I am inspired. Je compose tout juste parce que je suis inspiré. Her recent collaborations include Young Artist and an upcoming album showcasing her best hits. There are many young people that make beautiful, very beautiful music for me. So I am working slowly and at the same moment, I prepare an album with more than 30 years of my career. So we are preparing, but I don't want to tell you more about that right now. <laughs> For now, her music is being used to do good across the continent. She continues sharing her talent with humanitarian campaigns such as the fight against Ebola. Yes, Guinea Conakry has called me up to ask me if I could support them a bit. What is support? By writing a song? I gave it all I had. I organized everything. We needed about more than 10 artists, but really, everyone showed up. From music, let's move to film. Now, we all know Daniel Kaluuya for his role in the Get Out thriller for which he received his first Best Oscar nomination and as the right-hand man to the King of Wakanda in Black Panther. Now, Kaluuya has a new thriller, Queen and Slim, which follows a young couple on their first date whose lives take a dramatic turn after they are pulled over by police. At the film's Los Angeles premiere, Kaluuya said that it was exciting to work alongside director Melina Matukas and screenwriter Lena White. It's just for the first time, it's one of the first times that I've seen it, like really empowering um, <laughs> black women behind the camera and their perspectives and also showing a, a dark skin love story, you know what I'm saying, in the mainstream space. It's so exciting to be a part of it. Kaluuya's co-star Tana Smith said that the role of queen touched her on a personal level. As a black woman, as a black woman who lives in America, you know, I, I, I related so much to who queen was and the experience that she was having and, and the fact that it is about black survival and, and, you know, about two people who are, despite all the circumstances, finding a way to find something beautiful inside of it all. And that just is really the essence that I think of the black experience across the diaspora. And speaking of Black Panther, the king himself, Chadwick Boseman, is also out with a new film where he went undercover with police to portray Detective Andre Davis in 21 Bridges. Um, I think it, it definitely helped me to get into to the role, but, um, you know, everything you do when you do a film is not fun. Like, you know, some of it's just, it, 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 hits, it hits home how difficult the job is and what people have to go through. Bossman's character puts New York City on the lockdown, closing its 21 bridges to catch a pair of cop killers. Very difficult to film in New York. Um, oh, at the same time, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love the, you know, the, the locations, and because all of this was locations. Um, there's, a, there's a nostalgia that you feel when you're in the city. And another big name actor, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, has a new superhero movie. You know, this man is quite busy. The Rock took to Instagram to promote Black Adam, posting, quote, like most kids growing up, I dreamt about being a superhero, having cool superpowers, fighting for what is right, and always protecting the people. He shared his excitement at joining the hashtag DC Universe, where Black Adam is blessed by magic with the powers equal to Superman. But the difference is, he doesn't toe the mark or walk the line. Now from its early days, the comic book industry has always been male-dominated. However, as VOA's Dania Iman reports, some female artists are beginning to make their mark on this popular industry. Let's check it out. From fans, to characters and artists, the comic book industry is still a predominantly male environment. While female illustrators and writers have been around since the early days of superhero comics, they are still underrepresented. As a children's book and comic illustrator of Chinese and Indonesian descent, 
Alina Chow feels that the industry is now more inclusive. However, the gender pay gap still needs more attention. It's much better now. There's definitely more women in the industry and women's more representation. But I still feel like it needs work because I know for animation industry at least, as far as I know, very often women still doesn't get paid the same as men. But the pay gap is not the only problem in the industry. character. Females are more likely to be given female characters. I rarely see female comic artists given masculine characters. Writer Amy Chu also feels that being a minority in the entertainment and publishing industry has its drawbacks. Somehow because we're women, we're, we're given extra assistance or, or, you know, weird things like that. It, it is still very difficult uh, to be a woman in this business. Alida Martinez is one of the first women of color artists at Marvel and DC Comics. While she has been working in the comic book industry for the past 20 years, people often question her talents. I don't look like what people think a comic book artist should look like. So often I'm excluded from the conversation and I don't really have a voice within comics. So it's difficult for me to get my own ideas across. And seeing it here today, it's like a legacy growing. And I'm so happy that most girls won't have to face what I face entering the industry, hearing a lot of no. And they're actually listening to them and they're actually able to put out their own products and be well received by the public. As the comic book industry grows, Alina Chow hopes that female artists will no longer be underrepresented. I hope women's artists will get more recognition. I hope they will get as much respect as men without have to working extra hard for it. So I definitely hope to have more representation. I think it's important just to have more female artists being recognized and have the community support them and, and they could be just as successful as their male colleague. Denia Iman, Ronan Azanur, VOA News, San Diego. London-born rapper and filmmaker Rapman first caught Jay-Z's attention with his three-part YouTube series, Shiro Story. That got him signed to Jay-Z's label Rock Nation and has led to his first full-length movie, Blue Story. Rapman, whose real name is Andrew Onwobu, says that it's based on personal experiences while growing up. The story follows two young teenagers, Timmy and Marco, who are best friends at school but live in two different areas of Southeast London and end up being influenced by gang members. The film stars predominantly local actors who had nothing but praise for their director, who also narrates key points throughout the film uh, through the medium of rap. Kali Best, who also plays a gang member, describes Rapman's style of directing. He's hands-on, man. Yeah. He's hands-on. He's on the floor with us. Like, he's directing every single scene, how he's got a vision, and once he's got a vision, he and he knows how to get it out of the actors as well. His talent has been echoed by actor Kadim Ramsey. Raps knows how to, he, he's just a magician. <laughs> you know he, know, he, knows, he just knows how to yeah. pull, he knows how to pull what he wants out of you. And before we say goodbye, here is a look at Rapman's directorial debut, Blue Story. Check it out. Welcome to London, AKA the dungeon. Shootouts and stabbings on like every other junction. Banging for their bother, but they don't even own that. You touch one of theirs, guarantee they can roll back. You read the headlines in the news, but they don't tell you why they go to us, so I'ma break it down for sure. Where are you from? From Depth of Get off, boy, yeah? You know, I actually asked my brother, why do you peck and beef girls? If you live in them ends, you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love this guy. How many singers do you know that come out of Peckham? Well, none, but it's not like you can't be the first. A pen guy. I don't want sex. I just want her in it. <laughs> Everybody have five seconds to come out of my house. One, five. That's Switcher's little brother. We got each other's backs. I got yours, you got mine. If you would have stabbed you, I would have stabbed him up. Like, where you from? Man from Peck, no, I'm from what? Is this he, man, from what? And thanks for watching VOA's Red Carpet. For more entertainment news, check us out at voanews.com, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Just search for VOA Africa. Subscribe to our channel to get updates of our show. Until next time, I'm Jackson Vunganyi. Goodbye, good people.